This is a new wine that, that we are, have just released called Nero Davila, or as we call it, Dark Horse. It's been very well received, and it's, uh, it's a wine that I think will uh, go over well in, in Texas. It's a, a medium-bodied uh, red uh, that has some uh, delicious uh, flavors and interesting aromas, and one that pairs with a lot of different foods. So okay. let you try this. Okay. But this is, we're, we're trying to, uh, in Texas, we're trying to determine uh, what wines uh, we do best and, uh, and what grapes do best and what doesn't work here. And we know that the cooler climate uh, grapes such as uh, Pinot Noir and uh, probably Chardonnay don't do particularly well in, in Texas. Uh, but the warmer climate uh, grapes uh, such as the Nero Davila, Viognier, Tipperneo, uh, Roussan, things of that sort, uh, seem to do very well and uh, can compete with, uh, with wines from anywhere in the world. Well, this should be a winner. Well, this is, is one of uh, several warm weather uh, varieties that we're going to be concentrating on at Brennan Vineyards. Uh, Viognier has been our signature wine since we opened, um, and now uh, Roussan and Rhone White Blends, the Nero Davila, uh, Rhone Red blends are going to be wines that we're going to be concentrating on. We still do Cabernet and it uh, does well, uh, but it's probably not the, the future of Texas wine. Um, and we, we have some other reds and, 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 and uh, uh, whites as well, but the warm weather varieties are really, I think, the, the wines uh, for Texas. What foods would you pair with the Dark Horse? Well, this is not a super heavy red. So it, it could work with a steak, but it's probably not the ideal wine for a steak. But it would go with veal dishes, with um, grilled salmon. Uh, it could go with uh, various poultry dishes, things of that sort. Uh, lamb, it would work beautifully with. And maybe Italian dishes? Absolutely, absolutely. Nato Davila and Italian food go together naturally.